There's the tapper to third base. The contact play was on, so they have Torrey in a rundown. And he is tagged out as he gets to the plate. Whoa! And Torrey just pushed Pudge Rodriguez in the back, and here we go. Both benches have emptied. I don't know what Pudge might have done or said to Torrey Hunter, but Torrey Hunter went right after Pudge. I think Pudge gave Torrey a little shot after tagging him out. And now here come the bullpens, although things have calmed down pretty well around home plate. We, we know Torrey Hunter well enough that he's not going to cheap shot anybody, but he must have felt he took one. Well, it's a situation where Torrey's going in there. It's going to be a routine play at the plate. You're not going to give up on it out there. You're going to try to move him out of the way to allow the base runners to get the first and third. It was a minor collision at best. But Pudge pushed him back, and Torrey didn't like that. Yeah. And Torrey's, a, you know, we saw it earlier, but he's also an incredible competitor. Absolutely. And this ain't over quite yet. Sosha's making sure Torrey Hunter doesn't have anything more happen to him as far as any suspensions or anything like that. But now everybody is pretty much separated. It didn't last very long. And so she's leading Tory back to the dugout. Not only a little pushback, it must have been something said to Tory also. Well, he played against it a lot of years when he was with Minnesota and Pudge with Detroit. So the contact play was on Tory Hunter and Pudge Rodriguez had a little minor collision there. And the umpires now have huddled along the third baseline to sort out what they want to do about it. I'm guessing they're going to warn both benches. That's, I'm guessing right now he's going over Joe Girardi. Now Mike Sosa coming out to make sure there's no pitches thrown up and in. Been through a number of these ones before. You get a frustrated team going against a team that's headed to the playoffs. So that just woke this game up a little bit. The crowd was kind of sitting on their hands. But to empty the dugouts that way, that'll get everybody going. Torrey's still not very happy about things. In fact, he's dangerously close to getting out of that dugout again. Yeah, he is. I'm pretty sure that... The Pudge got thrown out of the game. Yep, they tossed Pudge. And don't be surprised if they tossed Torrey, too. Yep, they did. Let's take another look and see exactly what happened. The ground ball down to third base. It's a routine out at home because the contact play is on, and Torrey's just caught. And he gives Pudge a little shot there and Pudge kind of turns around and pushes him back and then Torrey gave him a two-handed shove then a swing at him also Pudge threw a punch yeah he took a swing at him so that's the play and then a little swipe like get away from me and Torrey comes right back after him and gets wrapped up immediately by Dan Geis, the pitcher. And then threw a punch over the back of somebody, especially when Geis is in position to separate Torrey. He's not even looking at this point. It's kind of a slap from Pudge Rodriguez, not really a punch. Well, was it the intent was supposed to be there. He's not yeah, saying he, hi. He couldn't reach him. Yeah. Gary Matthews got right in there. Mike Butcher was in there, too, to make sure that didn't escalate at all. See this little pushback. Frustrated the Yankees. Torrey's not going to have anything to do with that. Of course, John Lackey right in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> right away. 